What's up everybody? My name is Tom Bernanke and I'm gonna show you two things today. I'm gonna show you how to get rid of your back of the heel right here and bottom of the heel pain after running. So check out this guy right here. If you're hurting here or down here in the middle of all this stuff, right here on the bottom of your heel, I'm gonna show you home treatment tips, how to get this better. So don't put on 50 pounds, stop in a run, get out there and start enjoying the summer. I've got to finish this video pretty quick because I've got two babies upstairs that are starting to wake up from their naps. So let's get right down to it. But this is on, on a more serious note. There's two causes of heel pain in running and they're both very common. There's a couple little causes, but it's almost never them. It's almost always your Achilles tendon. So you can see this thick tendon that comes up to your gastrocnemius muscle through the back of your heel, it anchors into the back of your heel bone. And at the bottom, you have your plantar fascia that inserts into your heel and flares up into your toes. So most people, if it's at the bottom, plantar fasciitis and back here. Sometimes this hurts more in the morning after running, sometimes it hurts more at night. But the way to think about it, if you ever played sports, you know, you feel good while the adrenaline's high, but then once you eat dinner, once you take your shoes off and sit on the couch, that's when it starts throbbing. There's nothing wrong with the couch. It's the damage you did while you're running. So I'm gonna start you with home remedies, home tips to start getting this better immediately. So they say you're not supposed to freeze cans of water, but I just got it really cold. So if you have a frozen water bottle, grab it just like this. So when your heel's very sore, so down here, a great trick is for 15, 20 minutes, I'm watching some TV, some great shows on right now. I'm just rolling it back and forth. Oh, that's really nice through the arch. Can work pretty good along the heel. You know, you can do it across the Achilles tendon too, right there, just rolling it back and forth. You're getting the best of both worlds. Achilles tendon massage right there, if it's your Achilles tendon or your foot right there. 15 to 20 minutes of icing is great, but at the same time, uh, you're massaging. So massage can work really well in terms of just massaging it out right there, but icing and massaging works really well. And the back of the Achilles tendon, if this is where it's bothering you, you could do the exact same thing. So, here's another one favorite of mine, a massage roller stick. These work great. So, if it's the bottom of your foot, just massaging it back and forth works great. That is outstanding for after workout pain, even before. So right there, same kind of thing. Calf muscle, I love doing that. You can even use your body weight on top of a big, bigger, thicker foam roller, but right there, get all that worked out of there. Another one, calf stretching. So getting down here, getting your calf stretched right there. At the same time, so you're looking right through there. As I pull up right here, you wanna grab by your big toe so your foot's not buckling out to the side. You wanna stretch it right here. Great stretch through the foot and the ankle. Another great one is push up position, just like this. Right there, you can cross your feet right there and lean forward. You can see through the side of your foot and right there with the other one. Get some great stretches in like that. That gets your calf muscle in great shape right down here. Orthotics are a great option. So this one right here, as I put up my foot, you can see my plantar fascia is not stretching quite as much and my Achilles tendon sits up higher and there's not as much strain. So when I would land, normally my foot twists more up and out. The insert prevents it from twisting up and out. So you can see as I land right here, less up and out motion. So that's the idea of the orthotic. 
So these can really help a lot. So think about it, you get about 100 units of pain throughout the week. You don't want to use them all while walking around at the house. So let me show you this. It's just like putting on this insert inside your slipper. So we kind of showed this part right here. It's not dipping down in there. And my slippers are doing the same thing at home. So I'm feeling even fresher before I get to my run. And finally, here is the number one thing. You want a great shoe right here. So here's what you want in a shoe. You want a heel that doesn't collapse. So see, as I'm squeezing this guy right here, it's not really squeezing. It's not buckling down. When I bend it in the middle, only at the big toe it bends, nothing in the middle. Check your shoe right now, grab that thing. Some shoes you can basically tie in a knot. It's just flimsy, flexible material. Would you run a marathon in a shoe that's basically a slipper? You would not. That's what's destroying most people's heels. This is the number one cause is poor shoes. My clinic is filled with people with heel pain. Simply switching the shoe and getting an orthotic right here. You don't need anything expensive. These are like 20, 30 bucks, if that. Get a pair of these, put it in here, and you're gonna be in amazing shape. So it doesn't have to be an expensive shoe. Just a stiff heel in the bottom, doesn't bend in the middle, and in the big toe. You want just the bend there, no bend here, none here, and that's it. And you want room to fit an orthotic. That's all you need for your shoe. This works all the time. And lastly, nobody likes to hear this one, but if you weigh 350 pounds, you're gonna run better as a 300 pounder. If you weigh 250 pounds, you're gonna weigh better, run better as a 200 pounder. So think about it. Nobody likes hearing it, but I'm telling you right now, one pound of weight is three pounds less on your foot while running. Massive difference. Five pounds is 15 pounds less. Try wearing a 15 pound weight while you run. And that gives you an example how much harder it is to run.